I always talk about that. How I wish all mascaras came in small size. Almost dropped it. Whoa, don't do that. Making it super affordable and makes me very happy. What's up beauties and welcome to today's video. If you are new here, welcome. And if you've been here before, welcome back. My name is Manders and this is my channel. We talk about makeup, skincare, sometimes we unbox things and I almost always drop something. So if you're interested in any of those things, make sure you stick around. Today we are doing a first impressions video. I have had this palette from BH Cosmetics, the Mimosa palette, in my collection for a little while and I haven't used it yet. And I thought today would be the perfect day to showcase this beauty. Oh my gosh, it was such a pretty palette. Now I know that this isn't a new product, but I do really like BH Cosmetics, so I'm trying really hard to build up my collection of their shadows because these square pan shadows are amazing. So what we're gonna do first is I am going to just put some swatches here. I'm not gonna talk through it. And I'm just gonna go across and hopefully we'll be able to get them all on my arm. Wish me luck. <laughs> So this is, these are the swatches. I have to say they swatched really well. I'm not surprised to do these palettes tend to perform very well. So I'm very excited to put these on my, my eyes. I'm not really sure what I want to do. There are a lot of options with this palette. Let me know in the comments below, would you like to see a multiple looks with this palette? I could probably do three or four. I know some people really enjoy those because it gives you more ideas on what to do with the palette. So just let me know. And without me rambling on anymore, we're just going to get right into it. I'm going to use my Essence Color Intensifying Eyeshadow Base. It's seriously a favorite. I love it so much and it's only $4.99 Canadian and it's super affordable and makes me very happy. I will do a full get ready with me after I, I test this eyeshadow palette but because I haven't used it yet I don't want to put my foundation on first in case you were wondering. My favorite way to apply this eyeshadow base is with a brush. I know it seems like I used a lot but it does it's kind of sheer as well, so I just like to buff it in like this. I did already do my brows prior to sitting down. This is just such an easy eyeshadow base to use, and for the price, you really can't go wrong. And I don't want to use something as a base right now that isn't trusted and true in my collection. So that's why I decided to use this one, plus it's the most affordable one. And I enjoy the packaging. It's an easy eyeshadow base to use. It doesn't dry out like some other ones I have. My one from the bomb I love. However, it's dried out to the point where I don't even know if I can use it anymore. There are different shades of this as well. This one's in the shade Daya. I'm gonna pick up the other shade when I'm at the drugstore. I'm gonna be doing a full face of Essence makeup coming up. I'm so excited. I love Essence so affordable and so accessible for us here in Canada. It's one of the drugstore brands we have access to. We don't have access to a lot of stuff. But because we live in Canada, we don't have access to everything that people in the States do. Plus we have the exchange rate. I don't know what I want to do. I kind of feel like I want to go in with this shade right here, the OJ Happy Hour and We Brunch. Maybe take Sunny on the inner corner. I could use Champagne. Oh, Bubbly is also beautiful. Oh, I want to put them all on my eyes. I just don't know what I want to do. So we're going to get a clean brush. It's going to be the shade OJ because I am obsessed with yellow eyeshadow lately. The shade OJ reminds me an awful lot of the shade Crepe from the Summer in St. Tropez palette. We're going to see how it looks on the eyes. So I'm just taking that and I'm just buffing it through the crease. 
I'm just using a regular fluffy brush. There's no name that comes with it. I think I got it on Wish. It's a very easy brush to use. So I find I'm always reaching for it. Okay, so that's not bad. That looks really good. It's a nice, it's a nice color. I'm glad I chose this color. I'm gonna go in on the other side. These shadows are blending really nicely and I'm really happy about that. They do have a new palette, the BFF collaboration that I want so badly. If you have tried it, please let me know in the comments below. Sometimes BH Cosmetics circle pans can be a little different than these ones. I don't know why. I just know that in the past they have, it's almost like it's a different formula of shadow. I still want the palette though, like really badly. This looks really nice. No real complaints, it's blending well. So the next step is I'm going to take a smaller brush. And I'm going to go in with the shade Happy Hour right here. That's a really nice color. I'm going to focus that on the outer corner of my eye. And I'm not taking it as high as that first shade, but I'm just going to blend these two colors together and drag that through the crease. That's why I chose to use a tapered brush like this. This is just a Royal Lanical brush. Those two colors are going together very easily. I hope everyone's doing well. I hope you're staying safe. I hope you are warm wherever you live. I know that this winter storm is devastating some areas. I am thinking of you guys. I really like these two colors together. And I'm just building the color. These are actually, there's not a lot of fallout. They're going together very well. I'm gonna go in with that first shade and the same brush. Back in with OJ and I'm just gonna make sure everything's nice and blended before I go into my next step. Probably bubbly and champagne. I'm just gonna top this all over the center of my lid. Give that a really nice shine. Oh, that is. That is pretty. That is so pretty. Like so sparkly and shiny. You can see that. Looks good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the rest of my makeup on and then we're going to finish up the eye look. I'm going to use my Baby Skin Maybelline Instant Pore Eraser. I haven't used this in so long. I need to use this. I need to finish this. It's, that's the consistency. It is a very nice blurring primer. It is actually the first primer that I ever bought. And I used, I actually sometimes just use it on its own. It really does blur. I don't know if you can see that. We're just gonna let that sit for a second. And then we're gonna go in with my Rimmel foundation, the Lasting Radiance. So this is the foundation we're gonna use. This is Rimmel Lasting Radiance Medium Coverage anti-pollution foundation it does have it give it's very glowy so I'm just going to put one two pumps on the back of my hand I'm going to go in using my shop Miss a sponge and I'm going to just apply that to my whole face I am looking tired today I forgot how much I loved this foundation until I saw it in the drugstore like last week or the week before and I was like wait a second I used to love that it was only eight dollars have you ever tried this foundation what do you think I feel like Rimmel like I used to always like go for Rimmel and now I don't anymore and I don't know why so it's a it's a brand that I want to explore a little bit more this year okay And I am just gonna use what's left on the back of my hand. And we're just gonna make sure everything is even and blended. For powder today, you guessed it, we're using this bad boy again because it's gonna get finished. I'm not using another, I almost pulled out another powder from Shop Miss A, which I really wanted to use, but I didn't because I was like, nope, we need to finish this one. I'm determined. 
I've never been so determined to finish a powder. But this one, I'm like, I've been talking about it for so long, and I just, I need to finish it. It was so cool when I first got it, when it felt like water. Not anymore. That's okay, though. So far, I am absolutely obsessed with my makeup, my eyeshadow. I love this so much. I am loving this palette. Please let me know if you want me to do a multiple looks with this palette because I will absolutely film that if you guys are interested. This bad boy from Item Beauty. This is a brand that I really do need to explore a little bit more. I love their brow chow brow pencil and I really like this bronzer. This is in the shade, this is the Mood Bronzer. This came in an Ipsy and it's a very nice, it's very nice. I like it a lot. I have no complaints. We're just going to apply that to my face. Almost dropped it. Whoa, don't do that. I chose this e.l.f. blush for today. This is in the shade Twinkle Pink. It's one of my favorite blushes in my collection. I have hit pan on it, so we're just going to keep using it until we finish it. See, look, it just got bigger. It has a little teeny tiny mirror in it too. I also enjoy that. And I have to say this Alamar brush is like my favorite. I like this, I like this blush because it has a little bit of luminosity. It's very pretty, you can build it. Just like that, mm. my favorite. And do you see the glow it gives as well? Mm. I like that a lot. brush this these brush this brush trio from Alamar Cosmetics the bronzer brush and then this brightening brush which I'm going to use next these are so good so good somebody gave these to me because they just weren't using them and I'm like oh, I love that so much I'm going to use a highlight that I've had in my collection for a really long time this is in the this is blossom glow from wet n wild I think that I have potential to hit pan on this this year, so we will be working through it. If you don't already follow my project pan videos, I will have them linked down below. I'll try and leave a card somewhere. You see how easy this brush was to use? You just kind of tap it in. I just really wanted to glow today done my face makeup so that's awesome I am going to finish up my eyes I did grab a liner I don't want to do a liner I just don't I'm just gonna do mascara and perhaps a little bit on my lower lash line I just want to take this shade vibes here and just run that along my lower lash line it's a very pretty coral color we're gonna pop champagne right into the inner corner I love that for mascara today we're gonna to use this long long comb lash idol this was sent to me for free from top box I love it if you live in Canada and you haven't already joined Top Box Circle, I highly recommend it. I did post a video a couple weeks or maybe a couple weeks ago unboxing some freebies from them. I was sent to nail polishes for review and a brand new mascara from L'Oreal. If you live in Canada, you are eligible for Top Box. You can join. It's free to join. There is a subscription box though, so I'm not talking about the subscription box because I personally don't really like their subscription box. It's cheap but it's very hit and miss. But Top Box Circle, the mission program, so good. Sometimes you just get like, last year I got sent like four deodorants to try. Sometimes you just get sent stuff, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you get freebies like this though. This was just, I just put my information in and they sent me this and a, and a perfume. Makes me really happy when I get free stuff. Especially miniature sized 
um, mascaras like this because I love Lancome mascaras. They can be pricey though. And if I use a trial size like this one, I'm much more likely to finish it. I always talk about that. How I wish all mascaras came in small size. It would be so much better. Overall, I have to say, I am super happy with this. We will be using a lipstick from my current lipstick roulette. This is the shade Prince Charming from ColourPop. I'm going to line my lips really quickly using my Essence Soft Contouring Lip Liner in the shade Under My Skin. These lip liners are awesome. Everything from Essence is awesome. I don't love their eyeshadows though. However, I am going to buy some of them and see if I like them. I want to give it a chance. I haven't tried their eyeshadows in years. So I need to try some new ones. This is the only lipstick I have from ColourPop. I really like it. Thank you so much, Laura, for sending this to me. So let me know in the comments below what you think of this video. Have you ever tried this palette from BH Cosmetics? And have you ever tried other products from the palettes from them? The Blueberry Muffin palette is on my wish list. I'm hoping to pick it up soon. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to get it. I will totally do that for you guys. I really like this. I like the formula. It's very similar to the other palettes I have in my collection. I have to say, if anybody asks me what my favorite eyeshadow brand is right now, it's going to be BH Cosmetics because they are just killing it. So thank you all so much for listening to me ramble. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments. Do you want to see more looks with this or was one enough for you? I hope, I can't wait to see you guys in my next one. Bye for now. Have some more coffee. I'm not complaining about it. Just saying. I don't have any of my brushes here. I'm an idiot.